Good morning. Happy Monday. Welcome to another Monday Mindset. Excited to talk to you guys today. It's going to be an amazing week. I always say that because I think you have to claim what you want for the week. You know, I have a question for you. What did Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Bill Gates, Eric Schmidt, Steve Jobs all have in common? What is it that they had in common? I'm going to talk to you about that today. But before I do that, I will cue this intro and I'll see you on the other side. There are no bad businesses. There are just those people who don't know enough to see the opportunities in the work they're in. If there seems to be no future or opportunity in it, it isn't always because it's not there, but perhaps only because we can't see it. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to another Monday Mindset. I opened up with the question, what did Eric Schmidt, he was the CEO of Google and helped grow it to the billions of dollars it is today. What did he, Michael, Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Steve Jobs, Bill Gates all have in common? And the answer to that question is they had a coach. They had somebody who was coaching them, multiple people throughout their careers that were coaching them that we're moving them further in the direction that they wanted to go. Why is this on my mind? Well, this is going to be a little shorter of a Monday mindset for you guys, but I'm in the process right now of hiring another business coach, right? Because I'm always trying to up my level. This person that I'm interviewing right now that I'm pretty sure I'm going to move forward with in an engagement. They've been a CEO multiple times. They've done everything from startups to their last gig. They took a company, I think, from $1 billion to $4 billion. Uh, and I'm trying to find people that have been there. And I think it was Alex Ramosi said that you can either spend the 10,000 hours to master something, or you can pay somebody to gain that knowledge because they've already done it. And if you really want to succeed in life, the bigger and bigger you get, the more and more you realize, wow, your most valuable commodity, commodity your most valuable resource is time. And you need to do everything you can to preserve that time and utilize that time efficiently. And hiring a coach is one way to actually advance you in your career. There's this saying that practice makes perfect. And I would argue with you today that practice does not make perfect. This whole idea of practicing and practicing and practicing and hustling and hustling and hustling can actually end up not getting you what you want. I mean, imagine it, right? Practice makes permanent. I think that's what Zig Ziglar once said. Practice doesn't make perfect. It makes permanent. If you're a golf player and you get out there and you're swinging your golf club, anybody who plays golf, I can't call what I do golf. Um, it's more like army golf, left, right, left, right. I can't ever keep it straight down the fairway. I enjoy the game. Just can't do it very well. But look, I can get out there and practice all I want. But if I have the wrong swing, all I'm doing is permanently helping myself master the wrong way to swing a golf club. And anybody knows that's hired a coach before, here's the process, right? The coach is going to come in and they're going to analyze what you're doing. They're going to look at things from a third party perspective. They're going to look at things with the knowledge and experience that they have. And a lot of times in life, you get in an echo chamber and you don't even know you're in the echo chamber. You can't even see your blind spot, hence why it's called a blind spot. You can't even see it. And you need somebody to showcase to you what the blind spot is. I will give you this tip that I've suffered from in my life is uh, let your ego go. Because your ego 
keeps you from asking people for help. For help. Your ego keeps you from getting a coach. It's okay to have confidence, right? I've always had this mindset that anything you can do, I can do better. I've always had the mindset that, hey, man, if Steve Jobs can do it, I can do it. If this person can build a $500 million company, I can build a $500 million company. I think that's really, really good. And it's a positive that can push you forward. But the Achilles heel of that is you have ego and you get overconfident and you're not willing to ask for help when you should ask for help. You're not reflecting at the rate you should be reflecting and you're not taking advice at the rate you should be taking advice. Now, here's a caveat I will give you. And I think this is a biblical principle even, is you need to have some counselors in your life, some coaches that you trust, but don't trust everybody. Right? Don't take advice from every internet guru. Don't take even advice from every book you read. Right? Books are nuanced. Right? You need to actually take advice from the people that you trust. How do you know that? Have they accomplished what you want? Don't take advice from someone who lives a life that you don't want to live. Does that make sense? Right? When you hire a coach, one of the main things you should be looking at is, man, this guy's life, what he's accomplished, what he has achieved, the results that he has, is that the results you want? Because you don't want to hire a business coach and the results she has, you don't even want that life because you're going to get the same results if you implement the same processes and the same strategies. So practice doesn't make perfect. If you hire a golf coach and you're swinging the wrong swing, what are they going to do? Here's how the process works. They analyze and they tell you, hey, Luke, you're swinging the wrong way. And then what do they tell you? Hey, here's how you correct your swing, right? And you're, you're, you're not using enough hip. You're using too much arms. And here's what happens is when I try to correct my swing, my golf game, majority of the time, will probably get worse. Which, again, if you haven't laid down the ego and your golf game gets worse, you start doubting whether or not the coach who is coaching you is actually giving you the right advice. Because, man, I was shooting, you know, a 90 and now I'm shooting 100 again because guess what? When you try to switch things and change and you try to get on the right process, you haven't mastered that process. So when you, when you tweak your swing or let's compare it to sales, right? When you uh, tweak your script and you tweak your presentation, you're going to feel a little awkward. It hasn't been what you've been doing. So it's not ingrained in your subconscious. You can't do it with your eyes closed. So it feels awkward and you will probably come off worse than you did when you were doing the wrong swing. So nine times out of 10, when you get a coach, you might take a step back a little bit to go forward. Don't let your ego get in the way because when you master the perfect process, when you master the golf swing that you should be doing, perfect practice makes perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. And you've got to be a business owner, a business professional, a sales professional that is always willing to assess your craft. It's a reason why it's called a sales professional, right? You're not just called a salesman. You're called a sales professional because professionals show up. Professionals master their craft. Professionals are always getting better. And I believe professionals have a coach. I've shared this story before, but I think it's so powerful from a story perspective of Michael Jordan. And I had a guy on my podcast who interviewed Michael Jordan as a news anchor, and he actually talked to him about this story. So I didn't even know this. Um, this guy was on my podcast. He's a real estate agent now, but he was a news anchor. And he interviewed Michael Jordan. And Michael Jordan shared this same story with him. I heard it from Tony Robbins. But uh, Tony Robbins was asking Michael Jordan, who made the most impact on your life from a coaching perspective? Because Tony Robbins is a massive coach. And, and Michael Jordan refers to his high school basketball coach. And what he refers to in his high school basketball coach is his high school basketball coach told him he didn't make the team. His high school basketball coach told him, hey, you might be the most talented but you have the least heart right now. You don't show up. You don't practice, right? He was doing the Allen Iverson. He was going, practice, practice. Why do I need practice? And the coach said, hey, look, you don't get a spot on the team. And Michael Jordan was upset. And he said, hey, I guarantee you this, though. If you show up every day, you don't give up on this team. You show up for practice, right? I'll guarantee you a leading spot next year on the team. Michael Jordan references that coach in his life as having one of the biggest impacts on his life. And the reason why that is so powerful to me is because that coach did not sugarcoat it for Michael Jordan. That coach did not tell Michael Jordan what he wanted to hear. That coach was not a coach in the stands cheering him on, telling him it's just the best. That coach told him the reality. And that's what a good coach does. A good coach is not there to be liked by you. A good coach is to push you to levels that they know you can achieve that you don't believe in yet because you can't see it. I think that's what Winston, Winston Churchill said about leadership. A true leader takes people from where they are 
to places they don't even believe they can go because that leader sees that gifting and that talent within that individual. That's the type of leader I want to be. So I am hiring another business coach at my level. You should be hiring another business coach because you need people that will speak into your life. But to have a great coach, you have to be coachable. You have to be someone who will commit. When I was talking to this person that I'm thinking about engaging with, I said, I just want to make sure that my mind and my heart are prepared to commit and execute upon the advice that you give me. Maybe I won't accept every advice and that's fair, right? You don't have to accept every piece of advice from your coach, but I want to actually be a good student. I want to be coachable and I want to be able to execute on what I am doing. And what the coach actually wants me to do. So you have to be coachable. And one of the things that you should look for in a coach is don't think that the coach is going to teach you everything about what you want to know, whether it's in business or in life, right? You need coaches for each aspect of your life. You know, I think it's like the, the, I call it like the four F's or the five F's. You have your family, you have your faith, you have your friends, you have your finance, and you have your fitness, If you think about it, you could almost have a coach for all of those five main pillars of your life, right? So don't think that one coach is going to help you transform every area of your life. Pick specific coaches to help you in specific areas. This coach that I'm hiring for my business that took a company, I think, from a billion to four billion, I'm not going to probably have him help me in my marriage, right? Not because he maybe couldn't give me good advice and I'd be open to hearing his thoughts, but I'm going to go to somebody who's a relationship expert. I'm going to go to somebody like my father who's been married for 35 years, right? And he counsels people in their marriages all the time. That's where his expertise are. That's where he's put the 10,000 hours. Remember what I said, Alex Ramosi said, look, you can spend that sweat equity to spend the 10,000 hours mastering something, or you can go to somebody who's already done it and you can gain all their wisdom in a way condensed shorter period of time. It just takes a little bit of money to do that. And that is what I want to do for my own business. That's what I want to encourage you on this Monday to think about how you can transform your life and your business. Everybody gets a coach if they want to be a professional. Steve Jobs, Eric Smith, Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, the list goes on and on and on and on. You need to have a coach in your life, someone that's pushing you forward. Like I said, a little shorter of a Monday mindset today, but appreciate you guys. Hope you're having an amazing day so far. It's going to be an incredible week. Get out there and win for you, win for your family, win for your clients. Let's make it happen. Let's have a great day. See you guys.